video is an introduction to the database passport from Euromonitor. It talks about what is in the database, what you can use it for, and how to search it most effectively and efficiently. For this video, I'll look at the market for shampoo as an example. Imagine that you're researching the possibility of launching a new shampoo. You'll need to know about the current market for the product, current consumers and their concerns and desires, potential new consumers. And if you're thinking of selling internationally, then also trade logistics and distribution, business risk and political risk, and more. So what is in Passport? For about 200 countries, there are social and economic indicator data. These data originally come from institutions such as the UN, IMF, and World Bank. For about 80 countries, there are data and analyses for markets, companies, and consumers, and trend updates. This content comes from the vendor Euromonitor's analysts, trade associations and journals, and more. My big goal for this video is to persuade you to use the search menus. They are the most effective way to get useful content. But of course, there is a keyword search box. Let's try it out with a sample search on shampoo. The initial results here do not look promising. The word shampoo does not even appear in the titles. But notice that there are two tabs in the results. The first is statistics. Let's go to analysis. The word shampoo does appear here, but these results are old. Now let's try the search menu. First, let me describe these two category menu trees. Their layout is different, but they take you to the exact same content. The browse tree menu shows the categories and subcategories on separate web pages, one after another. Here's what that looks like. You click on the little arrows, and a new page opens with the subcategories. In search full tree menu, the categories and subcategories display vertically on a single page. Here you click on a plus symbol to open up a menu. And again, there is another search box. But here's what happens when we try our keyword shampoo. This is not a full text keyword search box. It searches only within category headings. So let's clear that search and skim through the category menus. Right away, I see the category beauty and personal care. That sounds promising, so let's open it. And now I see hair care, so I'll select that. When I select an item, it will automatically appear at the top of the search area. Also at the top of the screen, notice that there's a second tab for geographies. Click on that to select countries. For this example, I want to look at the North American market. So that means Mexico and Canada and the US. Again, as I make selections, they appear in this space at the top. And now I can click on the search button. The first two headings under statistics are market sizes and company shares, and here are all the headings on this page. For this search, there is data available for all of my countries, but be aware that sometimes that doesn't happen. There are links to data for individual countries, or I can click on View Full Data Set to see data for all three countries together. I'll enlarge part of this so it's easier to see. These numbers seem to indicate that Mexico has a larger market for hair care than the U.S. Given that the U.S. has almost three times as many people as Mexico, that's odd. The issue is that the units represent three different currencies. Fortunately, Passport has a convert data tool that is really useful. There are several currencies I could convert to, but let's go to US dollars. Now, a real comparison of these figures is possible, and it's clear that the US hair care market is much larger than Mexico's. But what's the meaning of this data type retail value RSP? Passport has great documentation, and we get to it from the Help module. Clicking on Help opens a new tab so you don't lose your work. Let's go to the FAQ section where there's a glossary. 
Whenever you encounter unknown terms or abbreviations in Passport, remember to check out the Help module because it contains a lot of useful material. Let's go back to our data. I can click here to go back to my search results, or I can use this drop-down menu and go directly to the different data sets. By the way, Company Shares is also often called Market Share. But I do not see a Units column here, so what are these data? Up here, it says that these numbers represent percent breakdown. Again, if I go to Convert Data, I see that I can convert these to actual figures. Now the data are in multiple currencies again, so let's convert them to all to US dollars. On the right, notice the download icon. Let's go back and look at the results on the Analysis tab now. Here I see reports on hair care for the three countries I'm interested in, followed by some news and opinion articles. Notice that all these reports have bylines and publication dates. Let's look at the country report on hair care for the U.S. The report starts off with what the Euromonitor analysts consider to be the major headlines for the product. Starting with pre-COVID conditions, scrolling down, the report provides more information on significant trends in the market with discussion about them. Here's an interesting chart where finally I see the word shampoo alone, not lumped into the broader category. Let's look at what you can do with this graphic. Notice these icons. Clicking on the first one transforms the chart into a table. Very useful. And the icon on the far right allows me to download whatever I have on the screen as an image. These features are available for most graphics in Passport. Scrolling down further, we see post-COVID analysis of trends in the hair care market. Going back to the top of the report, you'll see tabs. Let's go through them briefly, starting with the Download tab, which is where you can download the entire report. By the way, to download content from Passport, you must enter your name and academic email address. Spell out Marquette in full. The Data Graphics and Context tabs show how the category, product category fits into a larger context. These are mostly graphics. On the Related tab, you'll see links to other country reports that could be very relevant. This is the basic outline of content in most country reports on industry or product categories. A summary so far, use that search menu and the Convert Data tool, and go to the Help pages for definitions and documentation. But what about country research? Let's see how Passport can be used for that. Of course, we'll start with the search menu. We'll skim past the industry section and go down to the economic and consumer topics, which I'll enlarge so that you can see them better. I'll highlight three of these. Business dynamics, for example, encompasses all of these subtopics and more. Income and expenditure includes these subtopics and more. And population includes these subtopics. The point here is that when you use the search menu, you can browse through the variables and select many of them for all of your countries at once. So remember to use the search menus. If you still have questions, here's how you can contact us.